Hi everyone! So good news, I am uploading three new templates today to my website, uh, which the link is in the description box below if you want to get those free templates. One of them is going to be for a custom Reese's peanut butter cup wrapper. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to wrap that. I didn't want to release the templates without a video just because I know I get a lot of questions usually on how to do things after I give all my templates so I'm going to show you guys that today what you will need as far as supplies go is your printed out wrapper you can print one to a sheet you're going to need adhesive of some sort you can either use like double sided adhesive strips you can get this at any arts and crafts store or Walmart or um, I usually prefer to go with hot glue so if you're a hot glue person like myself, then go ahead and turn on your hot glue now. And if you want, this is not required, but if you want, you could also use a paper crimper. I believe I got this um, through Joann's, but that was a long time ago, and I don't think they sell it anymore, but you can try looking. And also, again, not required, but if you would like, you can use pinking shears. I got these off of Amazon. Um, I'll put the link below if you want them. So far, I really, really love them. But they were, like, super expensive. So, hopefully they pay for themselves in a while. So far, they have not. Let me just tell you. Alright. So, you're going to get your printer design. You need your two-pack of Reese's. Um, if you're not selling your custom Reese's peanut butter cup wrappers with this, I would say just to get one just to get a good feel of, of the whole wrapping part of it I don't um, I personally don't sell all of these like with my candies in them already but I like to always buy one of whatever treat I'm working with just to get a good feel for the placement of all my wrappings and all that stuff so anyway so you're gonna get your printout I have printed out this one and this is going to be very similar to my Oreo 2-pack wrapping as well as my Rice Krispie wrapping. You're going to place it in the center of your wrapper. So the way that I made my template is for it to be folded like this. So again, it's just like the Rice Krispie wrappers. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to take a look at it. Um, but just like a regular Reese's Peanut Butter Cup wrapper, it's folded, it's glued together like this, and then it's just folded over. That's all it is. So I want you to just get a good feel for the placement of that. If I hold it up, I feel pretty comfortable with the position. Basically, if I were to glue everything right now, this is exactly what my front would look like. If at any point in time you want to move it, you can do so now before you glue anything, okay? So all I'm doing is just holding it like this. If you want to crimp your edges, I would suggest to crimp your edges before you glue anything. Um, just because it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze afterwards. And you might also end up ripping your wrapper. I'm just going to crimp a very small amount. You can't even you, you can't even really see it sticking out of the back because it's such a small amount that you want to crimp. And always make sure that your paper goes in very straight because if it goes in crooked, all of your crimps are going to be crooked as well. Right, so that's what that looks like before we've actually even assembled up anything. As far as cutting with your pinking shears, I do recommend you waiting to cut your edges until you've assembled the entire thing. That way all of your little lines perfectly align with each other. So again, just stick this back in the middle. All right, so I've got a really nice tight squeeze going there. I like the placement of it. So what you would then do is after creating this nice crease, you're gonna put glue on the top side there or your adhesive, if your double-sided adhesive strips, if that's what you're choosing to go with. And again, because these sides are still currently open, if you need to rotate this wrapper a little bit so that the front um, is better aligned, this is when you're going to do that. 
Okay, so this is what your product should look like right now. Now, like on our Rice Krispies wrappers, you're just going to fold it over, and you can fold it over to whichever side you want. On one side, I put the nutrition label, and on the other side, I put the um, barcode and my logo. So depending on what you ended up designing on your wrapper, you can fold it whichever way you want. But I think I'm going to fold it over to hide the, I guess. Honestly, I think it looks better if I hide the nutrition label. It's not going to stay hidden unless you want it to stay hidden by gluing it down. So I want you to grab inside, grab this part and push it, crimp it down. So like right here, I'm crimping it down so that it stays down. And you can see that it comes up a little bit. If you want it to stay more down, just stick some glue right along the inside right there. Just a little bit so that it stays more down. But I'm going to leave it like this for now. Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. From there, you're just going to put glue or your double-sided adhesive right here. And go ahead and close your sides. That is with one side closed. That is with both sides closed. Okay. So now that I've put glue on both of my sides here, this part does stick down more. And remember, I did not put any glue in the inside of that flap. And this is how it's staying down without that glue. So if you like the way that looks, then just keep that in mind for when you're doing it. You don't need to put any glue on the inside of this flap. And you can still even open it up and you can read the nutrition facts. All right. If you decided to use some decorative scissors, now is the time to do so. You just want to be very careful and just snip off the edges here. Try to do it all in one go, just like that, so that you don't mess up any of the zigzags or whatever design you're doing, okay? And there is the custom peanut butter cup strapper. again my template for this is in the description box below if you like my free templates and you want me to keep making more free templates for you and you like this tutorial on how to set up a custom Reese's peanut butter cups wrapper be sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to subscribe join our Facebook group or at least be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook bye